Hey beautifuls! So this video is a little bit different. Five tutorials in one. Here we go. Tutorial number one. Ba bam First, let's prime our eyelids using the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in the shade of light. Applying that all over my lid and blending it in with my finger. Using this shade right here to set the lid primer so that it doesn't move and whatever we apply on top of it goes on like butter. Now using this shade right here, we're just going to buff it in our crease using a Sedona Lace blending brush. So in this video, I slow down all the tutorials on how I'm blending because I know a lot of you were like, Jade, come on now, we wanna see how you blend. So that's how it's gonna be the whole video. Okay, now going in with the orange, we're just going to lightly place this above the crease. Going in with this really pretty burnt red. Oh, it's so beautiful. Applying that in the crease blending it, working it in. It's okay, blending takes a while, okay? There's some pros at it who can just be like wham, bam. But for us, take our time blending it in, making sure it looks nice and crispity crunchity. I did different angles for you guys right here. I was looking forward, now I'm slanted like, hey. So you guys can see, you know, like how I like to blend. Look at it, look at it. Using Naked Cosmetics, I got this in my boxy charm. I will be applying this shade right here all over my lid. It's so freaking pretty. It's like a cranberry shade. Love it. Beautiful. Now, using this shade right here, just placing it underneath my brow, making sure it looks nice. Using the Lower Galler Gilded Honey Highlighter, applying that underneath my brow bone, making sure it pops and in my inner eye. I love doing this. I feel like it looks so nice, especially when you apply it to your cheeks, yes. Now using the Makeup Shack Bad and Bougie eyelashes, look how nice they look, oh yeah. And going in with the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner. This shade is so pretty. Now using the red, same thing that we did to our crease, I'm doing underneath my eye. Making sure it's all blended in nice and bam. Tutorial number one, done. Now let's go on to this baby right here. A lot of you liked my picture. You guys thought it was so pretty, something different. So going in with my Persona Identity Palette, using this beautiful shade right here, we're going to buff it in my crease. I did apply a lid primer and I set it, all of that good stuff. So now blending this in my crease, same thing with the first tutorial, making sure it's blended in really nice. Going in with this grayish brown shade, blending it in my crease, going in slow motions, going back and forth. I like going back and forth and then going in circular motions. I feel like that really helps me buff out the shadows and makes it look really nice. Look at it, slow motion. Going in with this shade, applying it underneath my brow bone. And now, going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer again, I will be using this to carve out my crease. I feel like it just makes it look so nice. Like, oh, look at it. Carving it out, so nice. You could do it as high as you want, as low. I have hooded eyes, so I have to go a little bit higher with my eyes. So bam, there it is. Ah, do you see that new edit? Oh my gosh, you guys. My girl, Jasmine, showed me how to do it. I'm so excited, I love it. Okay, so applying this shade all over my crease, leaving a little gap. See, I was going to leave it this thick, but before, done that it looked like this, um, sort of, and you guys were like, oh, the line's too thick, so I placed it a little bit higher, making the line thinner. Hope I'm making sense. Now going in with this dark brown, I'm applying it right there in the crease. With this, I took my time building up how intense it looked, because I didn't want to just place a shade and then it will just ruin it. So going in small, small amounts and building it up and boom. Love it. Going in with the Smashbox Brood Eyeliner. So beautiful. I really want to rock this on my lips. Going in with the purple shade, just blending that underneath my lash line, making it all nice. So mascara, and bam, look number two. Ba bam Okay, look number three. Since a lot of you know I'm removing my gallbladder, I cannot be eating Hot Cheetos. So this is why I was inspired by the Hot Cheetos. Okay, going in with my Smashbox Bold Palette, I'm picking up the orange, buffing that in my crease, building up the intensity, just dipping my brush back in, blending it out, dipping it back in, blending it out. Now going in with my red, same thing, the crease, blending it, blending it. I feel like with this look, you can be kind of sloppy. As you can tell, it's a little bit sloppy. But 
it brings it together like in a way it's just so nice because these two colors together beautiful so just blending 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 going in with this l'oreal jet bold blonde I think that's what it's called. Applying the yellow right there. Do you see how pigmented it is? I love it. Now blending it in with my finger, making sure it's all nice, there's no patchiness, and then using the yellow. Oh yeah, you see that? Boom. Blending it in, blending it in. Take your time, take your time. Do you see that? Oh, I love it. Going back in with the red. Blending the red in to make sure there's no harsh lines so that it just looks like it blends together so nice. If you have to add more yellow, add more yellow. You need to add more red, add more red. With this color, you just got to take your time. Now, using this shade right here, this is from the Makeup Shack palette. I will be applying that in my crease, blending that color in because I feel like it's just such a pretty reddish burnt shade. It's beautiful. Now, using the LA Girl Lip Liner, I applied that to my, my waterline. I did. Adding some red. It This was just so intense. I loved it. It was just so dramatic. It was just so me, you know? And it helped with the cravings with the Hot Cheetos. Now, adding the Smashbox lippies. Oh, look how bold it is. Yes. And this is look number three. Ba bam. Look number four. A lot of you guys liked this look. You guys are like, oh my god, I love it. Okay, now using the LA Girl palette, blending that in my crease. I already applied a lid primer and set it, all of that good stuff. So going in with this color, blending it in my crease, making sure it's really blended. You guys know the drill by now. So blending it in the crease, go back and forth, then go in circular motions. Same thing, blending, circular motions. Making sure that this color is really buffed out before we place another color. Low motion for yeah. Okay, now grabbing this shade right here, we will be applying it all over my lid. Placing it, ba-bam. Feel like it wasn't popping enough. So, I will be going in with the Pure Metal Vile Eyeshadow. Applying that to my lid, then blending it in with my finger. I feel like that really helped make it pop even more. So I went back in with the LA Girl palette and applied the eyeshadow on top of it. You see, look at that special effect. And but bam it made it pop so much more so don't feel like you always have to stay with the palette and you can't dip in your other stuff girl dip in your other products make stuff work so using the LA girl palette again blending this shade in my crease making sure everything's well blended using this shade right here applying it underneath my brow bone making sure it's all nice using the NYX crystal eyeliner just applying this really pretty liner strip right here like little details like that, it really makes things pop. Using the LA Splash Mascara, and bam, this look is complete. Like, look at it, look at it. I was feeling myself. Loved it. Something different, you know? Something different. Okay, my smoky eye lovers. This is our tutorial. Going in with the Tarte Shape Tape, we will be using this as our eye primer. Using the shade and light palette, we will be using the shade right here to set our eyes. Making sure it's all nice, perfect base. Now using the L'Oreal, remember I hauled this guys, I told you this was beautiful and I used it in the smoky eye. Okay, this is a tutorial. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, it's the perfect base for a smoky eye. It blends so beautifully, I love it. Now using this shade from the Kat Von D palette, applying it. I'm being kind of sloppy with it. I feel like with smoky eyes, you can be so sloppy. It's okay because it's going to come together. So blending that color in, blending it out, back and forth, circular motions. You guys know the routine. Blending the shade in, same thing. We're going to smoke up our eyes and make them look so sexy and so pretty. It's just like, damn, it's so beautiful. So blending, blending, circular motions, blending, ba bam. You guys see that? Beautiful. Now dipping into the other Kat Von D palette, picking up this beautiful shade right here. And I'm just going to focus the shade just above the crease, just to give the look an extra pop and a little warmth. Look how beautiful it is. That little eyeshadow right there, the little thing right there, made it pop even more. Now applying some color underneath our eyebrow bone and tight lighting. I hate that. I hate it. It always makes me my eyes water. Okay, now going in with Brood. There you go. Beautiful. Kat Von D palette. Buffing underneath our eyes. Making sure that it's smoked out on the bottom too to make it look even more sexy. Going in with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. You guys already know. I love this thing. Inner eye. We have to highlight it. 
and ba bam so give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed these five tutorials i'll see you guys in the next one leave me a comment down below if i do videos like this if it's more helpful the kid i'm with you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>